This is going to be another question and answer video. And this is about how does God talk to us today? Can you hear God talking in an audible voice? I don't believe we can hear God talking in an audible voice today. God could easily do that if he wanted to. But if God came to you and spoke to you as you would another person, then that kind of takes away the faith aspect that we walk by today. In 2 Corinthians 5, 7, it says, For we walk by faith, not by sight. If I had visions of God and he called me on my cell phone, then it's almost like I'm walking by what I can see and hear. And Hebrews 11, 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So I believe the quick answer is that God is not using dreams and visions today as he did in the Old Testament. I don't believe he's using visions or approaching people as the angel of the Lord or with an audible voice. I believe he speaks to you specifically through his words in the Bible. Adam and Eve heard the voice of the Lord walking in the cool of the day. That was the living word showing up looking for them after they sinned. He, he cares about his creation. He speaks to his creation. But today, it isn't through an audible voice. He came to Samuel and called his name out several times. A man wouldn't make you feel it wouldn't make you feel special if God called you by your name. They say if you say someone's name when you talk to them that it makes the person respect you more. I don't know if that's true or not, but wouldn't it be something if the Lord called your name? Today you have so many YouTube videos and self-proclaimed prophets who trick people into thinking that God is giving them something directly. And it reminds me of some verses in Jeremiah, where it says in Jeremiah 23, 25 through 26, I have heard what the prophets said, that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. There are men who claim to be in touch with God and are prophesying lies. And I seen a video of a man the other day and he was saying, Thus saith the Lord, and then saying things that God never even said. He was putting God's name on his false prophecy. And you know how you can know these guys are crooks? Because nothing they say ever comes to pass. And the Bible says in 1 John 4, 1, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. It says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 21, Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. If a man says anything, then you need to check it with the Bible. If he claims to be prophesying and it goes against the Bible, he is a false prophet. If it doesn't come to pass, then he is a false prophet. I don't believe God is speaking to anyone in an audible voice today. Even throughout the Old Tes Testament, I don't believe God spoke to everyone in an audible voice. Men like Elijah would hear God speaking to them, and they would proclaim, Thus saith the Lord to the people. And today, when a man says, Thus saith the Lord, he needs to be quoting what God has written down already in the Bible. That is how God talks to people today, is through his word. As Peter calls it, a more sure word of prophecy. In 2 Peter 1.19, it says, We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star rise in your hearts. The Bible is more sure because those supposed voices you hear could be a devil. Those visions you see could be something from an unclean spirit. And I'm not denying your experience. I'm questioning where your experience came from. God talks to us through the Bible. When you pray, that's you talking to God. When you read the Bible, that's God talking to you. And it always blows my mind when I see a guy pretending to be hooked up with God and getting extra biblical revelations when he's not even familiar with the words of God that have been written down. You have a copy of what God wants to say to you in your house, and it's the King James Bible. To preachers, he doesn't want them to get extra biblical sermons he gave them the word, and that's why he says in 2 Timothy 4, to preach the word, be instant in, in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all longsuffering and doctrine. In Titus it says, but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. I'm not saying a Christian might not get a strong feeling to do something. I'm not saying a Christian might not have a dream that urges them to do something, but those things aren't sure. 
but we do have a more sure word of prophecy. Many times you hear a preacher say, God gave me this message. And if that message is from the Bible, then that is sure. He really did give it to him. But it all goes back to the Word. If you want God to talk to you, then you need to seek out the book of the Lord and read it. If you want to visibly see God, then reading the Bible is the closest you'll get to it. It describes what He looks like. So as you read the Word, you can see Jesus Christ painted in your mind like it paints Him in Revelation 1, 13 through 16. Right now we see through a glass darkly, but one day we'll see Him face to face. And even though I don't believe you can hear God speaking in an audible voice, I believe you could hear his voice any moment now. As it says in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. He's going to descend from heaven with a shout. You're going to hear his voice then. Revelation 4, 1 says, After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. You're going to hear his voice then. One of these days you're going to hear the voice of Jesus Christ talking with you. It's going to say, Come up hither. And I wouldn't be bummed out about the fact that God doesn't talk to you in an audible voice today. In the Old Testament, men like Abraham didn't even have any scripture. But Paul says the scripture preached to Abraham. This puts the scripture up pretty high. As it says in Galatians 3, 8, And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. God puts his words up there pretty high. In Psalm 138, 2, it says, I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth, for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. Abraham didn't have any scripture. God spoke to him directly for this reason. Me and you have an advantage of having a written copy of what God wants to tell us. And I believe God talks to us a lot more through the Bible than, than he spoke to Abraham audibly. You have all these people claiming dreams, visions, and new prophecies. At the same time, they are too lazy to open the Bible and read a more sure word of prophecy. This guy I seen praying was saying all this extra biblical stuff, and I'm thinking God has so many prophecies in his word that is yet to be fulfilled, and that is more than enough to keep you busy. America is so self-centered that they think they're more important. They come up with these prophecies about how another great revival is going to sweep across America again, and they see Trump becoming president again in the next month, but they have no proof for believing any of this other than someone declaring it as a prophecy that they had. All that stuff makes Christianity seem more like a joke to the lost world. Maybe God can allow a person to dream about hell or a horrible event to put a person under conviction. I believe that does happen. I just don't believe he's giving people any type of extra biblical revelation. So the answer is God speaks to us through his word, not through an audible voice, not through dreams and visions. We have a more sure word of prophecy in the King James Bible.